Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to move your files to archive folder after loading the data into tables by using script tasks. So I already made one video on how to move the files to archive folder by using the file system tasks. So I will paste the link in the description. Those who are not watching that video, please go and watch that video for how to load the data of and move the files to archive folder using the file system. Here in, in this demo, I will show move the files to archive folders using the script task. So for this, I am taking three tasks in the control flow pane. First one is for each loop container. This is for iterating the files from the particular uh, source path. And second one is data flow task. Data flow task we have used to load the data and um, to take the, to read the data from the source folder to uh, write the data into destination. And third one I am using here as script task. Script task is to move the files to the archive folder. First, I am showing my data here. So this is this is my data. D drive files test folder. There are three files are the three test document. One is person ID name and gender country are four columns are there. Three records in one document and two records in another document and two more records in another document. Total seven records. So schema and structure is the same for all the three source documents. Now if you go to the destination table, this is the table. Right now we don't have any data, but schema and columns are the same columns as we see in the source document. I am taking the two variables, first one for source and second one is for destination. So here I am taking the, this variable as source path. taking the data type as string and value here I am taking it as a, this value and second variable I am considering is the test part this is the destination part that is also data type is the same data type string data type so value here, here I am taking it as this is my uh, after processing all these three person text documents are moved to this folder. So I am taking this path, give it the value, and extension. close it. Now I am dragging the for each loop content. Configure, double click. First choose select the enumerator. So here I am selecting the enumerator for for each file enumerator. So here I am writing the expression for directory property to get the files from the particular folder. So for that I am going to source path and evaluate. Click OK. Now if you observe the uh, source folder, there are only three test documents. Those, those we want to load the data from these three text documents. So for that, I am taking directly as extension txt in the files value and fully qualified and go to variable mapping. Here I am selecting the new variable. My variable new name is file name and take name. And automatically it mapped with the zero index. So for configuration I have done for, for each of the now I am dragging the data flow task into inside the for each loop. Double click. So here I am taking flat source because my source documents are test documents. Configure double click, browse the file where you want to look at. Take any file as you like, it doesn't matter. I am making it some data type changes here. For ID I am taking it 4 bytes and integer. So here my compatibility with the 
destination tables here. The, I will check the length of the worker data types 20, 10, 20. So I will change accordingly 20 for name, 10 for gender, and country is 20. Dragging the OLDB destination. Go to new and a server is admin sample admin database. So I am selecting the table name here. My table name is personal underscore TBL. No need to do any manual mapping. So data flow task configuration is done. Now if you check the file connection manager and write some expression for connection string here we will take the property of function string and write expression and drag the file name evaluate if you evaluate you didn't get any value because at the time of the running of the package only it will iterate one by one right now you don't find any value so and you know, to change the delay validation for data filters properties to true. That's all. So far, the configuration is done for loading the all these documents into data type. So we will run the package and check whether the documents are loaded or not. package run successfully and check the <coughs> database table so all seven records are loaded as we seen in the source document now i am truncating this table truncated table now our intention is in this package is on moving the folders move after processing move all these files to archive folder for that i am dragging the, the script task into the inside the uh, for each container you, you know to write some c sharp .net code for moving the files so i am connecting the data flow task to script task now Double click to configure, double click and go to read only variables. Here we already created three variables and select all three variables here. One is destination path, file name, and other one is source path. Click OK and edit script. So it will open. <coughs> so you, you need to write some code here before that you need to check the names namespaces for if, if there is no namespace for system dot ivo you need to add the, the namespace system dot ivo so it will read namespace it helps to re read files from folder now here I am copying the text to the, I already wrote some code. I am copying this entire code. So now I am explaining this code. First, you need to declare four string variables. String first, that is the DTS variables, which is related to file name. We already created one user variable, file name, and converted it into two string. Second one is dest. Dest also we have created one variable, dest path. See here, we already selected all these three variables into read only variables, just path. And the third one is, third one here we need to create as a file name. This is the variable that we created now, and string, data type is the string. And the, this variable is path to get the file name. This, is, this helps to get, get file name. 
फाइल नेम फ्रॉम फर्स्ट फर्स्ट में दिस फाइल नेम एंड फोर्थ वे फोर्थ वेरिएबल हियर इज स्ट्रिंग फाइनल व्हिच विल कंकैटेनेट डेस्क एंड फाइल नेम डेस्टिनेशन पाथ प्लस फाइल नेम सो एंड यू राइट टू कंडीशन वन कंडीशन हियर इफ फाइल एग्जिस्ट इफ फाइल डॉट एग्जिस्ट इफ फाइल इज वन क्लास इन सी शार्प फाइल डॉट एग्जिस्ट दैट मींस दिस दिस फर्स्ट फाइल इज एग्जिस्ट देन that file is move move, move to first and final For final means in the sense destination and file name this folder move to this uh, this folder that is the um, meaning of this code so i'm taking and i'm saving this one so earlier in file system tag there is the um, source and uh, destination properties are there instead of that In script task, we wrote the destination along with the file name. Dest here is dest path, destination path along with file name. Saving the code and closing it. Click OK. So package uh, almost ready. Once again, make sure that there is no data in the table. We have it truncated. And go to your dest files here. After uh, after executing this package, all these three files currently there in D files text folder. All these three files are moved to this folder, RK folder. Currently we have only one Excel sheet in the RK folder. Now I am running. I am running the program. Check your first tables. So seven records are loaded, and go to your folder. So in our case folder earlier we have only uh, country. Now all these three uh, documents, test documents are moved. Go and check the test document. We don't have any person. Three test documents here. So this is how you need know, to load the um, data. and move the files to the rk folder by using script tags so i will paste the link of the um, by using uh, file system tags how to move the files to rk folder also thanks for watching the video thank you very much